It's finally happened. Todd Downing is gone. Let's go. This is huge news if you're a Titans fan, everybody. Um, man, we've been waiting for this. I mean, since his little, you know, DUI stint, his little incident, he, you know, he, um, we, we didn't, we haven't even won a game since. I can't, I still can't believe that happened. Um, the Titans didn't win one game since that mistake he did. Um, and it just caused so many problems. Um, and not only on top of that, it was uh, not only a distraction, but um, he he could not call plays. Literally, it's, uh, I literally named his first down play the typical T formation or the typical Titan formation. It's when everybody's bunched together. Um, you typically have a fullback, um, and you have one wide receiver, and you just run it straight up the middle. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's it's pretty crazy. He was so predictable. There were so many times this season where I'm sitting there calling every single thing that he's he's literally um, showing the defense. The defense, um, if I can see it, imagine what a defensive coordinator and and these professional players who get paid to do this, um, you know, full time. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, this is their life. This is what they do. Uh, they're studying these guys all the time. And if I can see it, and it's every single game, it's so obvious what he's doing. Um, didn't look good. Like I said, uh, we were lucky to score 20 points. When we did score 20, we usually won. Our defense was pretty damn good all year long, even with all the injuries. And um, this is something the Titans needed to happen. As you can, guys can see at the bottom is Jim Wyatt's tweet. Shout out to Jim Wyatt. Everyone go follow him. Um, the Titans part ways fire offensive coordinator Todd Downing, um, offensive line coach Keith Carter, and I'm sorry, even though he was dealt a bad hand, um, he, we just it, it's time facelift. Boom, you gotta go. Sorry, bro. Uh, secondary coach Anthony Midget, again, man, it's hard to. I mean, he didn't. I, don't, I feel like he didn't do that great. Um, and uh, again, the injuries. It, it's it's kind of hard to judge really everybody except Todd Downing, who's trash, um, because of the injury situation. Man, it's just it's crazy. But um, this is going to be big for us. Uh, for all the people wondering who I think is going to be OC or who should be OC, um, to be honest, I'm not really sure. Um, I think they should talk to Tim Kelly and see where where they think he's going to be at with that possibility. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other guys who are, who would love to come in and and work with a guy like Derrick Henry, um, you know Traylon Burks if he stays healthy. Uh, the sky's the limit with that kid. Um, in this draft, it's so funny. I I got to make a whole video about it. The whole Jalen Hyatt thing. Um, depending on how fast that kid runs and from Tennessee, um, he could be drafted really high. Um, but then again. The Titans right now, because of how deep the receiver draft is, not really with that type of speed Hyatt has, that go-route speed. Um, but um, Titans yeah, uh, the Titans need a tackle. It, it, it's, it's obvious. Um, Ohio State, they've got a few good tackles, to be honest. Um, but definitely keep our eye on that guy and, uh, and then um, the Northwestern tackle as well. Um, not even going to try to butcher his name, <laughs> not even going to try to butcher his name. Uh, but both guys play with, uh, a fierceness, um, a toughness and aggressiveness. And, um, I, th I just, a nastiness with all due respect. And, um, I just think, um, either or would fit really well. Um, I don't, I don't really believe in reaches and stuff like that, especially if it's, a, if it's a team need. And, um, again, we're going to get into the draft again later on. But uh, with with Todd Downing not there anymore, uh, you know, we're, who knows if Ryan Tannehill will be back. If, if you know, there's lots of options out there. Um, one thing's for sure, the defense is, is going to be even better. Harold Landry is going to be so damn hungry. This team's going to be ready to go, man. Firepower. Uh, Got to release some guys. Um, free up some money. Uh, try to pay Big Jeff. There's so much stuff that needs to be done, but I'm very excited about uh, about this upcoming season. Um, just for the fact that um, we're we're not playing around. It's it's time to get serious. Uh, the Jaguars are sitting there. Um, you know, division winners caught up out of nowhere, and they got their quarterback. Um, you got the Colts, who are have already said they're willing, or their GM has said they're willing to already move up or whatever. Uh, and do whatever it takes to move up and grab their guy. Um, who's their guy? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Texans um, 
lost the first pick by winning that last game um, and give it to the Bears. Bears aren't going to take a quarterback. They got Justin Fields. Um, I don't like Fields personally, but um, it is what it is. He's fast as hell, good runner. Um, but again, the uh, the Texans are going to take probably a quarterback as well, obviously. So uh, definitely don't want that Levi Levy, Levy guy or whatever. You don't want him. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't want a rookie leading my team anyway. Um, and, uh, you know, you got Aaron Rodgers out there. You got a, a guy like Derek Carr. You got Lamar Jackson. <laughs> you got a lot of guys out there. Um, Ryan Tannehill is still there as well with us. And um, I really don't know who's going to be our, our quarterback. I don't know who's going to be our offensive coordinator. But I, what I do know is this team's going to look a lot different. And we're going to be a lot healthier. The only problem is are we going to stay healthy? We've got to revamp this offensive line. And um, personally, that's where we have to go. Um I know Vrabel did mention we have to get faster, and that's a fact. He said that. He he said we're always the slowest. We need to be one of the faster teams because um, we, we never are. We're never the fastest team on the field, and that's a fact. Um, that's why I hinted at Jalen Hyatt. Now, it, depending on how fast he runs, again, we'll see. Um, but at this point, um, you need a, a left tackle that, that you know for a fact will not get bullied. And um, that's one or the other of the guys that I named. Um, and again, I'm going to be breaking down a video on each of those guys individually, and I'm very excited about that. Um, so you're probably going to go with one of them. Um, unless you get a trade back, then we'll see. But um, I would like to stick there and, and take t take uh, whatever blocker is available uh, pretty much. Um, I, I just don't think uh, with, with Vrabel's comments that uh, we're going to be going with um, – Johnston or whatever I, I, from TCU TCU's wide receiver I just don't think I just don't think so just because um for his size he's fast but I, don't, I mean he's not gonna sit there and, and, and run by guys l like like a Hyatt would um that being said Hyatt's not a reception guy like it like um like like the other dude is so uh you, you gotta you gotta you know it, it's so crazy man like I said you gotta just take it one day at a time free agency comes first um you, we gotta let guys go we gotta pick guys up we gotta do a lot of different things and then when when all that settles the dust clears then we'll worry about the draft but for now the worst offensive coordinator in the history of football I don't care what anyone says this guy cannot score 20 points a game he has the best running back in the world does not know how to use him it's ridiculous um He's gone. Titan Nation, we can fucking breathe, baby. I'm so excited. Uh, I want to know what you guys think personally. Please leave likes, 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 comment, subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. Again, Todd Drowning is fired. Um, we're going to be keeping an eye out and finding out who's going to be the OC, who's going to be uh, you know, the offensive line coach, you know, the defensive back coach. All this, uh, all this stuff we're going to be keeping an eye on for sure. But um, I'm very excited about Todd, uh, Todd Downing being gone. I mean, everybody's been wanting him gone for such a long time now, and he's just continued, continued, continued to work and work and work and do nothing and do nothing. He has – it was unbelievable. Like I said, me and, and, and a lot of people in the chat during my live watch parties literally are calling all the shit he's doing uh, 90% of the time, it seems like. Uh, just so predictable. Uh, and then you add injuries on top of that. Uh, it, it's not going to look good. And again, we'd barely scored 20. So a game. So, uh, Todd Downing's fired, uh, again, and, and Tennessee's offense is going to be way different. We've got to attack the draft offense heavy and we will. And again, man, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe. We're closing in on 10,000 subscribers. We're going to be live for some playoff games. And, um, again, leave your comments below. I want to hear what you guys got to think about this. Again, it's not breaking news. It's, it's already happened. Um, but we're moved into the studio now, so we got videos coming at you. I have not talked about this myself, so this is my opinion on everything. We're going to be getting a lot more videos out. Like, comment, subscribe. Tighten up, Code Blue Cyclops swag. We'll see you guys soon. Let's go.